Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint a Crimson Fist Space Marine for Warhammer 40k. This color scheme is very quick to do with only the edge highlighting being the most time consuming step. But overall this is an easy color scheme with a very cool result. And before anyone calls heresy, this model has both fists painted instead of one. But I feel the two fists help to better explain how to paint the red parts. So this might be a veteran Crimson Fist. I'm going to start by priming the model with grey automotive primer. Uh, this primer is a cheap one, so don't use a lot of it. Use it very lightly if you're going to use it. You can use any primer that you like. And as a first step, I'm using Counter Blue to base color the whole miniature. I'm using a monster brush so that I have a better uh, covering with a larger brush and the paint is thinned down with water about one to one if you need more than one coat you can use various coats just make sure to let the first one dry completely next I'm going to use Vallejo model color black and with this color I'm going to paint all of the metallic parts and the places that are going to be black this is the entire bolter and uh, all the places that are going to be silver also, all of the base coats are thinned down. You can use Liquitex Drying Retarder for all of your thinning if you like. It's a very good uh, tool if you have it. But just water can work fine. Lead Belcher is going to be used as the base coat for all of the silver parts. Which is the lower part of the bolter and all of the little tubes and and details here and there on the armor that are going to be silver. Here I'm using a size 2 brush for better control it's because this brush I can use it to make a very fine tip and I can base coat basically any part of the model. Next I'm going to use corn red and with this color I'm going to base coat the fists. Remember that crimson fists have only one fist colored in red which is the left one I believe and only veterans get both fists on red but because I want to show you how to paint them maybe it's a good thing that I did that mistake also I base coated the eyes with that next I'm going to use known oil to shading the whole model because the armor is supposed to be a very dark blue so it's a good thing that we use known oils to really shade in all of the uh, shadows on this miniature and also the red's supposed to be crimson, like very dark red. Uh, the silver takes well the known oil as well to be a very clean silver. If you want it to look a little bit more uh, worn out, you can use uh, Acrex Airshade if you want. But you can use the same wash to shade in the whole model. Next, I'm going to use Counter Blue. And with this color, I'm going to once again color the armor, but just leave the recesses on the darker color. This will really make the miniature pop a little bit with uh, raising the contrast on the shadows. And here I'm using a size 2 brush and I'm just uh, retouching the places that are exposed and leaving the lines on, on the shadow color that is the washed color with known oil. Once that's done we're going to use Calgar Blue and this is going to be the first uh, edge highlight it's going to be two but uh, this is the more time consuming step and uh, you can skip it if you don't want to have this much detail on your model but it really makes it pop and it's very important to be neat in this step if you make a little bit too broad edge highlight you can just use Canter Blue to clean up just push it back to the edge and that's it. I use liquid text drying retarder to help me out when I'm edge highlighting so that the paint is wet for a longer time. Try to use the side of the brush and uh, clean up your brush every minute or every couple of minutes and always have new wet paint on the brush so that it doesn't dry on you. And here I'm using a fine detail brush. Now that that's done, the model looks like this. I'm going to use Fenrisian Grey to give a second edge highlight. 
which is just going to be on the very edges and the places where most like hits on the very sharpest uh, edges you can just uh, give it a, an extra highlight with this color to really make it pop a little bit more but uh, it's not really necessary if you don't want to do it but it looks good Next, I'm going to use corn red and do the same same procedure on the fists. I'm just going to clean up and leave the dark color on the recesses. Next, I'm going to use Wasdaka red as the first highlight for the fists. I'm just going to edge highlight all of the edges and the tips of the fingers and the knuckles and stuff like that to make it pop a little bit more. Also I colored the front uh, like half of the lens of the helmet. Next I'm using Wild Rider Red and I'm doing a finer edge highlight on the fists. And also I'm going to paint a little dot of red on the very front part of the lens. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to put a little reflection of light on the back part of the lenses of the helmet. Next, with Iron Breaker I'm going to highlight the silver. On the bolter I'm just going to highlight the edges with a fine detail brush. And on the symbol, I'm just going to highlight most of the area, just leaving the darkest recesses on the shaded color. And to finish it off, I'm going to use Rune Fang Steel. And this color is going to be only applied to the symbols and places that you want to really enhance. It's going to go on the edges of the wings on the symbols. And then I'm going to use Eschen Gray to hi edge highlight the bolter case the same way as I've been highlighting the other places on this miniature. And to finish the model up, I'm going to use Downstone to further edge highlight the bolter case. Just a finer edge highlight, and that's it. And this is how the model turned out. This model was easy and fun to paint. It's not a very complicated color scheme and it produces a very cool result. The most important step I would say is to pay special attention on being as neat as you can while you are edge highlighting. This model is so cool that it almost sways me to become a loyalist. I hope you found this video helpful and informative and if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them in the comments below. Remember that you can find me on Facebook, the link is in the description below. Like the video, comment and subscribe, this really helps my channel grow and if you would like to further support my channel you can stay after the video to learn how. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.